out of cardboard and a few straws? Well then, let's get started. You will need a couple balls, straws, a bread knife, a marker and slate, and some cardboard. Start off by cutting the cardboard. You might need an adult's help with this. You have to cut out one portion of the cardboard and then seal it up with cello tape to make it stable and so it won't fall apart. The next step is to design your roller coaster. This is my plan. I'm planning to roll my ball down this ramp and then make a turn here, a turn here, and then end right here. The next step is to cut the cardboard for your ramp. I'm using cardboard for my ramp. If you want, you can use paper. Now, we are going to make our ramp. Your ramp has to be wider than your ball so that the ball can move freely. I took a wider ruler and I'm placing it in the middle so there will be an equal amount on both sides. Now we're going to score the cardboard. Now that we're done scoring the cardboard, we are going to bend both sides in so that the shape would look something like this so the ball could move down. So this is our ramp, but be careful. If your ramp is way too steep, the ball will roll down and then start bouncing and probably bounce out of your coaster like mine did. We are going to make a few more ramps. Make sure that your ramps have enough space for the ball to roll down and so that we can cut some off. Now, we are going to make our ramps so that this ramp overlaps. So now I'm going to cut this cardboard ramp at the point. So see these two? It goes just like this. So now we're going to use the cello tape to seal the ramps. So now I'm done with my ramp. The next step is to have a friend hold your ramp up while you put the straws in and measure how much that needs to be cut. So now we are going to cut the straws. So I'm gonna put two straws and cut both of them at the same spot. Ta-da! What we're trying to do is build one of these rectangles. The first step is placing a short straw like this in the middle of a piece of tape, which is on a flat surface. The next step is to take two straws, these two, which are the same size, and put them onto the tape, leaving a bit of gap. So now we've made another one of these rectangles. I'm going to tape it to the cardboard. I'm gonna put this here. Now we're going to take one of the balls and roll it down. Let's do a trial run. So we're going to test if this needs to go any lower. Well, it worked! That was fun. So, let's try this. Yep, still working. Now, with a little modification, you may now enter the mouth of the dragon! reached its stomach. <laughs> wow, that was so cool! Gravity pulls the ball down the track. 
but it will travel faster or slower depending on the angle of the track and the amount of friction the ball experiences against the cardboard. So the next time gravity helps you do something, say thank you gravity! If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!